Good morning, my name is Cornell Reddick. Today I am sharing a video of how to install a Brilliant to switch panel. Uh, I decided to create this video just to show how easy it is to install from a user perspective, but it is important to note before I even get into this that Brilliant does a good job of providing all the stuff you need in order to install this on yourself. So you can actually go here to the website, which I will have listed below, and you can see how to install the brilliant this two panel switch right it has installation guy here you can do it that's one way and they also have videos to do this so if you don't want to go through this video you can actually just go through here and look for the installation video i decided to do it i just felt like from a user perspective it just kind of either build your confidence or break it down right all right so i will continue and go ahead and get into the video all right, so what I've done already, let's let me get ready to get started. So I had uh, the brilliant switch come in. This is the two switch. Yep, and it comes with a bunch of stuff that's in a the box. These things are really easy to install. This is actually the sw switch itself. It's a bunch of different things to install. I don't know the names of everything, but this is the display. This is actually. I don't know what this part called, but this is you. This is part that goes in the wall. The display goes on it. It's really easy to put in. As you can see, I cut my power right off, tested, and I'm actually pulling the switches out. Once I pull this, the old switches out, then I'm gonna show you what it looks like to install this. You definitely want to make sure your power is off. Use a tester. Make sure your power is off. I'm not showing that stuff in this video breaker box make i've already verified that everything is off and that this is done safely okay now that i got uh, everything pulled out of the wall let me show you what i did so this is a fan switch right here on the left side and this is my light switch so i'm basically going to segregate the wires this is my neutral white wire which you have to have in order to do this if you don't have a neutral you won't be able to install it so you need that right and I'll go over that when I get to actually installing the Brilliant Light Smart Switch. Well, anyway, I've gotten it down to this point. I'm keeping them separate so I don't confuse things. I usually do one at a time. I'm actually going to start with the light switch itself. These are not three-way lights. If three-way lights meaning the light is being controlled at more than one, two places, right? This switch only works for just this one light my fan light and this fan works for just this fan it doesn't work in another room or anything else like that so that's what i mean by three-way switches this is not a three-way switch this all right so let me get started so what i'm going to do now i'm actually going to take all of these off and then i'm going to show you how to hook that up with the smart switch itself okay so i stripped the light switch itself um now I'm about to get ready to hook the switch up to the, the wires up to the Brilliant switch. If you look on here, you'll notice it says up right here, right? So, so I want this right side to be my uh, light switch and the left side will be my fan. So basically what I'll do is fl flip this around and you can see you have on this Brilliant switch, you have a ground wire. You only need one ground. And then you have at the top, you will have your, at the, no, let me start at the bottom. At the bottom, you'll have your common wire. If you look on there, it's a C. I'm not an electrician, but I've done a bunch of these, so I'm getting pretty used to it. And you see the end for neutral, that's your white wire. And you can see another common wire. And then at the top, you got your L1 and L2, right? That's my uh non-hot wire non-common wire which is this red one here will go in the top for the fan light you just got two black wires right one one goes on the top and another one is the common wire goes on the bottom right the, these are fairly the uh fan switch are fairly easy it's not that complicated just kind of kind of like i'm holding it here you put one on the top and one on the bottom i'm going to show what it looks like once i'm done Okay, so I just completed the first, the light switch itself. 
that's the fan light. This is just a regular life switch for this light. And of course, that's the left one is the fan for the fan, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you what I did here. So again, as you can see here on the left, I put my common wire, which one, I mean, uh, my ground wire, which is the green one or this copper wire. And I just plugged it on here because you need to put ground the ground here, right? So it doesn't really matter. You only need one ground wire to control both the fan light, the fan switch and the light, fan light switch, right? And then you can see I put my non-common wire here at the top. And also, if you notice, it says three-way circuit only. This is not a three-way, so I don't need to worry about the sticker. So you just leave that sticker here. So if you see that, that's what they're talking about. Right? Again, a three-way is when the switch is controlled from two different locations, but it controls the same light. This is not a three-way. So this is just a single light. This switch controls one light. And here's my common. So that's pretty much it for the light switch. Now I'm gonna hook up the fan pretty much the same way. I'm gonna take this wire, put it on top, and take this common wire, put it down at the bottom. And I won't need this ground wire here because I already have a ground wire. Okay, so now I got the fan switch, the fan switch in to turn the fan on. You can see I did not use the three-way circuit only. And I have the top uh, wire there, top black wire. And then the bottom ground wire here. So I only have, uh, so that'll control the fan, okay? All right, so I have everything set up. The only thing left I need to do is this white neutral wire. I need to run it to the neutral at the bottom there. Once I add that in there, I, I can start doing my test, which I will show you all how to do. It should work. Everything should work as expected. All right, so let me go ahead and hook that up. Okay, so I added my neutral wire to the neutral spot slot here on the brilliant switch. All right, um, these. So what I did was just take a wire, which brilliant actually give you a bunch of different color wires. I took one of the white ones, just added to the the neutral wire that was already in this outlet box, and just added it here and just put it in. It's too. It's pretty easy. So that's it. That's it. So now all I have to do is test it, all right? Um, but before I talk about testing, it's important when you actually put these wires in that you don't cut the tips to the point to where they expose here. So if you see copper, you can see where I'm pointing. If you see copper there, that's wrong. You don't want copper to be exposed. You see no copper, so that's good. That'll cause a fire hazard. So you wouldn't want that. So make sure no copper is exposed. The ground wire is okay. Of course, but everything else you don't want to expose. All right, and then all I, also, all I need to do is turn the power, make sure it's up, this is facing up, and test it. You can test it before you begin to mount this inside the outlet box. So I'll test the fan and the light. Okay, so now I have the switch installed in the wall, the bracket installed in the wall. Notice again, it says up there. Look. You want to test it one more time to make sure nothing got loose. Turn the light on. Light is good. This is my daughter's nursery, by the way. And the fan. The fan is good. <clears throat> so once you verify the light, nothing got popped loose. The last step is to take the panel. Of course, you want to peel the sticker off there. And just, you just simply slide it on there and push down a little bit. And it should come on. As you can see, it is coming on now that it has power. Now it will go through updates and, and all of the good stuff. I'll log off for now and then I'll come back on once it's completely logged on. But as you can see, the display is coming on. Okay, now that the device is turned on, I am naming this control. I simply type my daughter's name and it's gonna just go through and it's gonna sync to all of my other brilliant devices. I got like 
10 of these things in my house, one in each room. Um, I love these things. There's so much you can do with them. Uh, it just takes home automation to a whole nother level. But I'm not going to have you w watch all of this. Of course, if this is your first, you would just click on um, this is your first, and then you'll set it up. But this is not my first, so it's going to start to sync with the other brilliant devices. So I will come back on once that's well it's done so well once it's done you just simply go to your wi-fi and then you, this is where you enter your wi-fi to get access so it can gain access to your network okay so it's connected to my home network now i will select okay and then this is where you set up so what you would do here you would download the brilliant mobile app it tells you there on the screen what to do you download that app, <laughs> you create a room. For example, this is my daughter's room. And then you will add device. You can see all that stuff in the app. It's, it's not that hard or whatever. And then once you got the app up and running, you hit add device. And once you hit add device, you, it'll pop up with this QR code. Uh, and I will scan that with my app and go ahead and set this up. I'll get back with you after. This is a quick video on how to set up your switches once you install the Brilliant app using the QR code. All right, so first you're going to go here, install Brilliant app, add a Brilliant device. In this case, we did the two switch control. I'm going to create a room, run the test room. All right, here you add two switch control here, just showing you an image of which switch, how the switches match up. And in this case, the, the fan switch, which is the left switch on our control panel, um, is, is, is showing there. So this is how you determine, that's what it means. So we're on the first switch, right? And that first switch, it is not a light, it is a fan, right? As you can see here, you got a light fan or plug. So it's a fan. It's only controlled by one switch. How many switches control is controlled by one switch. So I'm going to go next there. And then I can pretty much name it whatever I want. Fan in this case. And then just hit next. So, so that will be labeled as fan, the fan switch, right? And then next slider is going to take me to the second slider, which is this slider here. This slider is the actual light on a two uh, control switch. All right, so we will select light. This is only control by one switch. All right, so you will hit next. And then we can name it light switch, whatever you want to name it. All right, then you're going to select the type of light. In this case, it's an LED, the wattage, usually between 110 and 150 it's almost in the u.s here anyways and then if it's a dimmable light you can select yes if not select no in this case it's no but if it is a demo light it'll allow you to set it up to where you can dim the light and that's pretty easy to do all right so once you've done that you hit save and then you know you just verify everything here you got your fan and then your light switch and then you hit ready to install right it's gonna once you hit ready to install then you can select start right and you select start it's going to ask you if the stuff is already installed in this case it is so you just hit yes it's going to take you it's going to say it's going to show you which one if you have multiple It'll show you which one you're installing. In my case, I am working on installing other switches at this time, so that's why it's asking me that. So I would hit next, and then it's going to say display. The, you know, you can read that, but this is when that QR code comes into handy, right? So you would hit next, and then you would just scan, all right, scan the QR code. And that's where I'm going to conclude this video. Once you scan the QR code, the rest of the video will pick up from there. Okay, once you have scanned the QR code and it is officially synced to your network and you got the naming and the, and the application, you did everything you need to do there. This is the next step. You can continue here.
A lot of the stuff you can do from your phone, um, but I can just kind of give you an idea. You know, it'll show you how to, it, it's got, they do a good job of giving you details on how things work. Do you want to learn faster, how to turn on and off the lights? It's basically going to tell you how these work and, and et cetera, right? But I'm going to just skip that from now. You can actually use any of the home assistance advice. I use Alexa. I won't do this now. I would do this on my phone, but it's pretty simple. Well, actually, I'll show you how to do Alexa, but I won't do it on this step. So I'll skip that for now. Then you have, do you want to allow verification users to access video? You can give people access to who can see video inside this room or not. It's self-explanatory, but I will not enable that now. I'll skip that for now. I'll skip music. I can add music devices to this and any and other devices, but I'll skip that from now. I'll do a lot of this stuff on my phone. Let me continue here. All right, so to add Alexa, you can see I had a, there was a button there. Actually, let me go back. Went to, I can add Alexa this way. I could have did it before. I can just sign into my Alexa account. Ooh. Yeah, but I'm not going to do that now, but just wanted to just show you how, that, how that's done. Um, it's a lot of cool things about this. I can hit light switch here and control the light from the display, or I can just use the switches themselves, or I can use my phone, etc. So many ways to turn lights on and off. I can actually access, access scenes and stuff that I created and etc. Um, cameras like my ring device, which I can set it up. I can also change the display to where it shows personalized picture, uh, I have personalized pictures set up on my other ones throughout my home. A few other things with this. Um, it's a little window here. Um, I leave my eyes covered because I don't want people trying to, if people, if I somehow was to get hacked, I wouldn't want people trying to access this video so they can see in my room. So I usually keep that covered. So I give you the option. That's pretty cool about it. Um, this thing is cool, man. I love it. So much you can do with it. The intercom. I have one in each of my rooms, so I can use this intercom to communicate to people in the house. I can do a broadcast and talk to everyone, or I could just call the individual bedrooms in my house. You can see I got a lot of them. And, you know, I can actually see them screen to screen or, you know, just call them. And, you know, I love that. It helps me with my kids to get them to come downstairs and when I need to. You know, you got alarms. You can set uh, speakers up to this. It's just so much you can do with it. Brilliant ex ex explains all this stuff. Um, I love these things, man. This is a game changer. My home automation is off the chart. Definitely, if you can afford it, get it. Yeah, so I started a bunch of these uh, different uh, switches. Uh, I could just show a few of the one switch two and three just here on my main second floor. Of course, you're already familiar with this one. You can see the screen shavers working and pretty cool. That's pictures just that I added. You can actually customize and add your own personalized pictures. I love that feature. I also got one of them in here in the hallway. And then I also got some dimmer switches. The dimmer switches are pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll make a video of the dimmer switches. And then I have a single one switch here in my hall. And in my bedroom, I have a three switch. I uh, love these products. Get them if you can get them if you can afford them. Well, I hope you like this video. It's a long video. I try to be as detailed as I can. If you like it, please like it below and also subscribe. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions, I'll do my best to help you out. All right, bye.